Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land today? Grandpa out here in the big blue beast. Big blue. Just had my my highlight of the month happen just moments ago. <laughs> I had to run into town, run some errands. And I got to stop at my son's house and uh, got hugs from the whole family. Just made my whole month. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, you get to be a certain age and you know, living by myself, I don't socialize with a lot of people. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I get tired of some people sometimes, uh, but just the highlight of my whole day was to stop and visit them and get hugs from everybody. My granddaughter had just gotten her hair cut and she just looked cute as anything, just cute as could be really really cute and uh she looked nice i i had to tell her how nice she looked and she just loved she relished she relished she lavished and relished in the praise which is just awesome that means that she actually gives a damn about what i think and i like that i don't know about you but i love that oh something gonna hit me ah i gotta get t-boned nah anyhow so i uh Stop by my favorite little drive through Oh, somebody's U-hauling it. Poor bastards. Uh, I hate moving. Stop by my favorite little drive through And I picked up something really cool. Something that I don't... Haven't haven't seen or thought about for a long, long time. Yoo-hoo! I got a Yoo-hoo. <laughs> Shake it. Yoo-hoo chocolate drink. 220 calories per bottle. Guys, it's probably absolute junk. I, I, I'm afraid to read the ingredient list because I'm sure there's nothing in this that's really good. But what's really good about this is childhood memories. I remember being a kid. Or that opening. I remember being a kid and having a Yoo-Hoo. And uh, it was just, you know. Here you go. Yeah, that's a Yoo-Hoo. Kind of chocolatey. It's sort of weird. It's kind of chocolatey and creamy, but watery all at the same time. Uh, exactly as I remember it. But how cool is that? Little little childhood memory. Uh, on Facebook, I'm a member of a, a group of uh, people born in my era. And people are always posting on there things about you know, the 60s and the 70s when we grew up and when we were kids and stuff. And I got a, I got a post about you. <laughs> Surprised to see it's still for sale. Looks like the same label, same packaging, same. I mean, it looks just exactly the same. So how cool is that? I did have to go over to my daughter-in-law. One, one of the reasons why I stopped down there, I had to repo. I had to do a repo. I had to repo a, cam uh, a candle I gave her. This was uh, one of my test candles. We're checking it out. And she's having problems burning the candle. Um, and, well, for one thing, obviously the wick is not centered, which is part of the problem. But I had too much wax. This is one, this is one of the very first candles that I did. I put way too much wax in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with the heat gun and I'm gonna melt it down about a quarter of an inch or so. And and that should that should then cure the issue. That should that should fix it um, for her, and then I can give her that candle back. She did like the smell of it. She said she it, oh cucumber melon smells so wonderful. Uh, she did leave it open in her house and she loved having the smell in her house, which is which is, you know, that's 90% of the battle. Even without burning it, she could just have it sit there and it smells good, so. Uh, but I want to get it fixed so she can burn it and enjoy it. And, you know, this is what you do. You you make candles and you test them and you find out what mistakes you make and you correct them. This is how we live. This is how we grow. Not a failure. It's just a learning curve. So, speaking of which, I'm going to touch base with that on, on a second. I, I hate giving some of these idiots any kind of... Uh, credence but yeah I was really surprised uh, somebody was making derogatory comment on my channel about 
oh, I failed at this and I failed at that. And all I do is, all I'm doing is living in a crappy apartment. And you know, buddy, if you'd had to go through the stuff that I've had to go through, you wouldn't be such an idiot. And, you know, and and that's what the reason why I bring this up is I want to impress upon people have patience with other people till you've walked a mile or a year in their shoes you have no idea the stresses or the problems that they're dealing with the issues the, the traumas the setbacks that they've had to deal with don't be critical of other people and certainly don't go out and try to try to destroy them I don't know, you get these people on social media, these troll type people, and all they want to do is, is you know, beat up and bully on other people. The people that do that are obviously, you know, those that have, have nothing, never going to have anything, but they're going to belittle everybody else, you know, trying to make themselves have some sense of importance, I guess. I, I can't, I can't understand where else somebody comes from. I can't understand what other attitude would motivate somebody to behave like that but try to try to be thoughtful of your fellow man and be positive with them and show a little love and a little kindness kindness costs you nothing absolutely nothing to be kind to somebody else it doesn't cost you one penny so why not be kind to people you know it just <clears throat> Yesterday, I was watching, you know, you get on these rabbit holes on YouTube and social media and stuff. I was on YouTube, and I this video came up. I don't know how, why am I play, but it came up, and it was these, uh, you know, worst driver type videos, and um, mostly about truck drivers, semi-trucks and stuff. And th this guy's showing this video, oh, this guy thinks he's more important, he's, you know, that, that he should just be able to pull into my lane and stuff. And so, you know, the truck doesn't give him any room, doesn't you know, allow the guy to pull in, doesn't allow him to merge, you know, stays tight up against the car in front of him, blocking the guy. Why do that? Really? I mean, I can understand. You don't want to slam your brakes on in a big truck. I get that. In those situations, I completely agree. But if you're just, you know, in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic and you're not going very fast and somebody wants to pull in front of you, go. Just go. At least if the idiot's in front of you, you can keep an eye on them and you know they're not going to run into the back of your truck, you know? I, I see these videos and so many of these people... And, and a lot of them, you know, like they'll, you know, some guy will pull in front of them and then they'll, they don't have a short, clear distance and they'll run into the back of the guy and damage their truck and damage the person. They have an accident, the police come. The, the guy who pulls in front of them got ticketed. You know, that that's all well and good, but that doesn't excuse their culpability. You know, be good to other people. If somebody wants to pull in front of you, just let them. That, what's, it, what's it costing you? One nanosecond of time in your day? I mean, really? You've got a, you've got a road rage and get angry and damage their vehicle and yours just uh, for your pride? Let it go, man. Let them go. Somebody wants to pull in front of me, I let them go. You know what? Had an accident uh, back in September with my van. First accident in 63 years. I'm 63 years old. My first accident where... No, actually my second. My, it's the first accident I've had since I was 18 years old. I got hit when I was 18. It wasn't my fault. I had my mom in the car actually at the time. So you know I wasn't miss doing anything with mom in the car. But anyhow. Just let people go, man. Not hurting you. Not costing you. No skin off your nose, no money out of your bank. So, uh, I'm way over. I'm not accustomed to using this backup camera on my in my truck yet. I've got this backup camera, and and I I'm not good at judging the distances in it yet. I find that I back up and I I don't get over far enough. There we go. I'm over far enough now. I have a real precarious place I have to park here. I have to park next to Charlie's truck, but I want to stay far enough out that I can get out and be on sidewalk and not on 
or be on concrete, not on the gravel, because the gravel gets kind of muddy. But anyhow, I am home. Yahoo! <laughs> Actually, yoo-hoo! All right. Well, I guess they are keeping up with the times because it says on here, caffeine-free and gluten-free. That certainly was not on the label when I was a kid. Good source of vitamins. Yeah, right. Okay. Water, high fructose corn syrup. So there's GMO corn syrup. I, I, I really go out of my way to stay out of that, but there I just drank some high fructose corn syrup. Bad me. Whey, okay, that's milk product. That's fine. 2% coca, alkali, processed. Non-fat dry milk, natural and artificial flavors. They don't say what the artificial flavoring is. Sodium caseinate, dipotassium phosphate, palm oil, gargum, exand gum, mono and diglyceride, salt, spice, soy lectin, sucralose, ni uh, nicinamide, vitamin B3, vitamin A, palmitate, riboflavin, vitamin B2, Colora califerol, vitamin D3. Contains milk and soy, produced under the authority of Mott's. 2425 Hall of Fame Lane, Frisco, Texas. Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Yeah. There you go. Bioengineered food ingredient. Yummy. Yeah, we'll say I got some good news. Uh, garden plans are going to get expanded a little bit this year. Uh, Charlie, my neighbor here, uh, has asked me to go halves with him on the garden out here. If you remember last year, he gave me a lot of produce out of the garden. Now he wants me to go in halves. I already got a bunch of seeds that I'm starting, so it's no big deal. I'll gladly do that with him. So, uh, so that'd be exciting. Big plans for the garden. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to end this here because, well, I'm home and I got to go inside. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and I'll have more for you in the near future, kids. Bye.